hey youtube welcome back to my channel today's video i am making a unit on my sewing machine the hair that i'm using is by ma beauty i have a 14 inch hd closure along with three bundles of straight the inches are 14 16 and 18. so far the hair looks very well the bundles are thick and you know the texture feels nice and soft the hair came with a beautiful pair of mink lashes along with a pack of 10 stocking cap so i'm about to make the wig and see how great this texture is also I'm doing this at home it's like 1 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just gonna start on the wig and I'm gonna try to work on it as much as I can to complete it. But I'm kinda tired, so you know, I know I'm not gonna be doing this for long. It usually takes me like two hours though to complete the whole making of the wig. So like I say, I'm going to do as much as I can and I will resume in the morning. But anyway, I am, um, what I'm doing now, I just braided the closure to get the hair out of my way. And now I am marking the, the, the way cap so I will know where to place my tracks. I have to place them like an inch apart so that I'm not going to sew, sew them too close. If I sew them too close, the gap will not stretch and the wig will not fit. So the markings that you see I'm doing is so that I can know where to place the tracks. So now that it's done, I'm about to double the tracks and sew them together so the wig will be full. I'm trying to use all three bundles of the hair plus the closure. So in order to achieve that, I have to sew the tracks together to make sure everything fits. So I'm going to sew the tracks together and then I'm going to sew them on the lines that I just drawn on the wake cap. While I'm sewing, I'm making sure I'm not overstretching the cap or anything. I'm just trying to move all the wrinkles out of the way so that the sewing machine wouldn't sew the cap together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just I'm not forcing it or anything. I'm just taking the wrinkles out of the cap so that you will not sew the cap, bunch the cap up, in other words, like sew it together. So that's what I'm doing when you see me maneuvering like that and just trying to get all the wrinkles and creases out the way.
So, okay, this is day two. Well rested and ready to complete this wig or unit, whatever you want to call it. But um, the only thing is left for me to do is to sew the closure on. So that's not going to take me nothing but like 15 minutes. So I am going to sew the, the closure on and then I'm going to complete the styling at the salon. Pinning the closure to the cap. I'm using some, you know, some little pins from the my little sewing kit so that I can secure the closure in place until I'm done sewing it on the machine. Okay, so that was the final part of it, and I'm done making the wig now. I'm done sewing the closure on, and I got all three bundles plus the closure in. I'm so happy when I can add all the hair into the wig to make it full. So yeah, all three bundles fit plus the closure. So now I'm just cutting the excess cap from under the closure. I'm cutting that off so that I can see the lace better and take the black cap away. So that the HD part of the cap can really show like scalp. So now I'm about to add the combs to the wig. I usually put three combs, one in the back and two in the front. This is good for when you're not using glue when it's a glueless wig so I will be able to easily take this wig off and put it back on and still have security by using the combs so now I'm at the salon I'm gonna finish up with the styling with this wig so what I'm doing now I'm plucking the hairlines trying to make the hair look a little more realistic in the front and not wiggy. So I'm trying to take out some of the bulkiness and the fullness of the hairlines also. I did not bleach the knots so what you're seeing is the regular HD lace. Sometimes I skip the process of bleaching the knots because the bleach sometimes put wear and tear faster on your wig and the wig patch out and bald faster than if you didn't bleach it. So I skipped that process and I'm just gonna put foundation on the lace to make it look a little more realistic. So I'm going ahead and I'm gonna cut the wig and then I'm gonna curl it. So I'm layering the wig right now so that to me, when it's layered, the curls last longer because it's not as heavy and it don't weigh down the curls as much. So I'm just putting a little bit of layers in the wig, just light layers, not much. So now I'm curling the wig using my one inch Barrow Marcel curling irons. 
and I'm gonna leave the clips in until I try this baby on so let's see how this goes and hey y'all it's me the hair guru welcome to my channel finally I'm on video doing my own hair and I'm so excited so let's see how this goes So all the clips are out. Now I'm about to cut the excess lace off the closure using the eyebrow archer just to give it that natural look and not the straight look. And now I'm using the hot comb, the Marcel hot comb to make the top flat and look more natural. Oh yeah, I really love this. I really, really do. It is, I love it. I really do. It's beautiful to me. The texture is soft. The curls held up very well. And now I'm going to add a few baby hairs in the front. I really don't like baby hairs, but just to make it look a little better than just the hairlines just there. I'm just gonna add a few off camera because I really can't do it into the camera. I have to use a mirror, but I love this hair. And the link will be in the description bar where to get the hair from and more information about this wig in the hair so y'all can click the link below and y'all can get more information on this hair it's na beauty and i love it I am enjoying this y'all as y'all can see the hair is beautiful it's silky and there's no tangle I can run my fingers through it and there's no tangle this is some beautiful hair y'all it holds the curls and everything later I might go ahead and put some more layers in it but for now it's just you know some light layers just for now. Now I'm going ahead and shift the part, trying to see what looks best. If the middle or the side, the left side or the right side, I don't know. Y'all can leave a comment in the bottom and tell me which side y'all like best, either the middle or the sides. I think I like the side best, but once again, the hair is beautiful, y'all. Check out the link in the description bar. That's gonna tell y'all more about this hair. But I love it. And I will keep y'all updated on if this, if it held up. You know, in the beginning, all hair be beautiful and soft, but after a couple of shampoos, that's when you see the true character of the hair. But for now, it's beautiful. So this is the ending of the video. So if y'all like my video, y'all can leave a thumbs up. And y'all can also leave a comment. 
and y'all can share my video. And until next time, y'all stay blessed.